one. Okay, so I got my quarantine look going on. 22 weeks pregnant, but it's been a long time since I've done any kind of update on our garden. I filmed a video, then we ran out of storage space and I never uploaded it. <laughs> so here's our tomato bed we put in. I put up this, well, Eric put up the fence because we got dogs that run around and I didn't want him killing the tomatoes. So these four are golden nuggets. And today I'm gonna plant our tiny Tims. So these are both cherry tomatoes. And then along the wall, uh, let me see if I can see the sign. That one's extreme bush. So those are uh, slicing tomatoes. And these are paste tomatoes right here. And I just planted those a couple days ago. We started those from seed. And you can see these two are a little weak looking. That's because they were, they kept falling over because they got so tall they were like two feet tall and those ones are better looking because I babied them better and I, I wanted to see if those would still survive so I planted them anyway. These are the ones I'm planting today. They're not as tall as I would like but because of what happened with those I'm not going to get let them get that tall. So this is the tallest one and what we're going to do is rip all the leaves off from the majority of the plant and just leave the very top because uh, the tomato creates roots and we'll plant it in sideways and it'll become a really strong root ball. I learned that from James Prigioni. He's a New Jersey gardener. He has got a good YouTube channel if you want to check him out. So I'm going to start at the end. I'm just using a Tupperware lid as my protection from the wet ground. And I guess I'll plant the biggest one first, so really easy, just rip off the little leaves, starting from the bottom, going up to the top, I don't want to rip the stem though, okay, and then this last one right there, because there's enough leaves on the top, it'll be fine. So it looks like this. And then I'm gonna dig a hole. It's like a trench. Because you lay it in sideways. So just dig this little trench here. And then just kind of squeeze it out, let it fall. And then my hand, and then I'm going to place it, let's, yeah, right there, even though most of the depth's right there, well, it's whatever. And then we're going to cover the roots right there and backfill that in. And we're going to bury the majority of the stem, and this will turn in to roots. And then we'll bend it up a little bit and support it with the dirt and it'll start growing up straight. You see how these are almost straight? I planted these just like this and they've already come up and it's only been a couple days. And they say you should plant these when it's overcast so they don't get sunburnt. I've had these outside for a week though on our porch so they've acclimated outside a little bit. But if you can plant them in the evening or when it's overcast is when it's best for the tomatoes so they can have a better chance of uh, not getting sunburnt really bad. So there's that one and that's what I'll do for the rest of them. Just wanted to show you.